I'm Dr. Francis Shaney. I'm a urologist. One of my areas of interest is treating overactive bladder with inner stem therapy, and we do that here at the Will Surgery Center. The Will Surgery Network provides uh, multiple surgery centers with uh, multi-specialty use, including here in Wilmington, where we have general surgery as well as eyes and urology, and we provide a, a wide array of different surgical treatments, and it's a great center for all those treatments. The Will Surgery Center here in Wilmington is very convenient. It's well located, uh, the staff are terrific, they really give you lots of individual attention, and they really know how to take care of the patients and deliver excellent care. Uh, my name's Nancy Eisenhart, I'm 54 years old. Uh, right now I'm a stay-at-home mom. I have uh, two children and two grandchildren. Uh, I'm married, I've been married for 32 years. And then after I had children, uh, <clears throat> there was a problem. It wasn't um, something that, that inhibited my life, but um, as I got older, it kept getting worse and worse and worse to the point where I just would, urine would just come out. I wouldn't get, you know, a sign that I had to go. I wouldn't you know, feel like I had to go. It would just come out or suddenly I'd get an urge to go and I couldn't get to the bathroom on time and I had to start wearing diapers at night to be able to sleep with my husband and one time I I went in a, in a store and I had to run into the ladies room and ask my son to go buy his mother underwear and jeans to put on. <clears throat> um, yeah, it was awful. I, I was afraid to go anywhere. I knew where the bathrooms were and every, every single place I went and didn't stray far from them. Just really, it was, emotionally it was, it was very, very difficult. I, you know, just got to a point where I just couldn't take it anymore, so I uh, did tell my um, PCP, my primary care physician, that, you know, the problem, and I was very, um, you know, I told her exactly what was going on, and so she said, well, I think you should see uh, a urologist, and she gave me Dr. Shaney's practice uh, and, you know, mentioned his name specifically, uh, and so I waited for a while. I was, I don't know, I just kind of felt like there was nothing anybody could do. Almost 40% of adult females, and to a lesser extent males, have some element of overactive bladder with frequency, urgency, and urgent comments. And it's a multi-billion dollar problem in terms of uh, products, over-the-counter products and solutions that people buy for dealing with incontinence every year. Most patients don't present with the severity of symptoms that Nancy had. Most have more mild symptoms of just frequency, urgency, and occasional urgent incontinence. But Nancy's symptoms were quite severe by the time she met me. She was even wetting the bed and having fluorid incontinence out in public that really she had no solution for. She failed medications, and she was really an excellent candidate for interstim therapy. There are two different types of incontinence for the most part. Stress incontinence, which occurs when you laugh, sneeze, or have movement. Stress incontinence is really not helped by interstim therapy. But the other type of incontinence is urge incontinence or overactive bladder. That's incontinence that occurs without activity. You could be sitting there and you have leakage that's sudden, perhaps even without warning. Or you need to get to the restroom, but you can't quite make it there in time. So you have urge incontinence because you can't quite get to the restroom in time. Those are the types of leakage that are treated with interstim therapy. Interstim therapy is really a minimally invasive surgery. It's very easy outpatient surgery, very safe with very few uh, risk involved. Uh, interstim is usually delivered in a, a two-step process and the first step is a test implant. It's a hair thin wire that goes into the lower back and it gets connected to a little a box on the outside that you control the level of stimulation and that test will help us figure out whether interstim is right for that patient. So they get to wear that for about a week usually and then after a week is up we just remove the wire and in some cases we go directly to the operating room for the second step which is a permanent implant a week or so later. The main reason that I'm a doctor at all is that I love to help people. And nothing is more rewarding than to have somebody come back and tell me how I've been able to help them. And Nancy's story is such a powerful story about that, that Interstim has really changed her life in such a positive way. And it's so rewarding to be able to do that for her and help her in that way. Uh, having this surgery, uh, the Interstim therapy with Dr. Shaney, at Will's Eye uh, in Wilmington has been an experience that has changed my life uh, enormously. It's impacted 
everything I do, everywhere I go, uh, or can go, I don't isolate like I used to, and I'm a much happier person, and I like myself a lot more.